Hey, I'm Roland with Mobile Geeks, and we're right here at Samsung's Impact 2014 number two. So this is the launch of the new Galaxy Note 4, which is a new high-end tablet from Samsung with a 5.7 inch screen and we're just going to quickly compare it with the LG G3 which is right here on the left. So what you get on both devices is pretty much the same resolution so they both sport 2560 by 1440 pixels except for the fact that this is actually a 5.5 inch screen and the Note 4 does have a 5.7 inch screen. Also technical difference, the Note 4 has a much brighter I think, let me just check on the brightness, yep we're all set. To the maximum so as you can see the screen on the Note 4 is actually quite a bit brighter than on the LG G3 which has a TFT LCD screen it's also great screen IPS panel and stuff but still it is a bit dimmer also slight difference in the size there and as you can see the two devices are totally different those 5.7 inches have to go somewhere on the Samsung right here Let's just quickly take a look at the dimensions while I'll tell you about the specs. So the new Samsung Galaxy Note actually is about like two or three millimeters wider and it's also more than a, I guess more than a centimeter taller than the G3 right here. Technically the uh, Note 4 is definitely more advanced since it sports a Snapdragon 805 in here going up to. 2.7 gigahertz on the quad core or even if you get the octa core 64 bit soc from samsung that's also available in the note 4 there is a 64 bit cpu while the g3 still sports the snapdragon 801 which is now kind of getting old as samsung is launching the galaxy note 4 right here other than that they're pretty much identical except for the fact that the note 4 sports a pen which is in this case missing or yeah, seems to be missing right here, but it's still, this is a pen and a digitizer, which the G3 for sure does not have. Um, let's just quickly talk about the rest of the specs. So we have this 3 gigabyte model of the G3 right here, and there's also 3 gigs of RAM in the Note 4 standard, uh, 32 gigs of minimum flash storage. There's also going to be a 64 gig version of the Note 4, which the G3 doesn't offer in this case. Let's check out the cameras back here. Samsung still does it the kind of old way, so in this case, we're talking about a 16 megapixel camera that now also sports an optical image stabilizer, which the G3 also has, but the main difference is here that this is only a 13 megapixel camera, whereas this is a 16 megapixel shooter. Um, what's also a difference or a big difference between the two devices concerning their cameras is that the G3 has their laser autofocus in here while Samsung still does it the common way that is known from all the other smartphones that you might have been getting in the market. Also, design-wise, rear keys on the Galaxy Note 4, where the power button is on the right on the on the Note 4, and the rear keys are on the G3. I got that mixed up in this case. Uh, there's only a single LED flash on the Note 4, whereas the G3 sports their dual LED flash up here with the bicolor design. Speakers are pretty much in the same space. The same space based down here so on the back right there there is that's where the speakers are at and design wise there's also another difference that it, which is that the Note 4 uses their hardware buttons down here which in this case has a fingerprint reader which the G3 doesn't have and it also has on-screen buttons right here uh, battery size is pretty much the same but the Note 4 has a 3220 milliamp hour battery while the G3 only sports a 3000 milliamp hour battery. Let's just put them both on top of each other so you can see kind of the size of the two devices again. And thickness is pretty much the same I think. I think the, uh, the G3 is a, bit, is a bit thicker since the uh, Note 4 is only 8.5 millimeters thick but in weight uh, the Note 4 is actually a bit heavier since it's coming in at 176 grams where the G3 is only 150 grams in this case. Front cameras are only, the, the G3 only has a 2 megapixel camera and the Note 4 has a 3.7 megapixel camera right there. So that's just been a quick look. I'm not going to open this up because the alarm is probably going to go off. You can peel off the back on both devices and add a, a micro SD card slot or put a micro SD card into the slot. That's special for that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. They're both running Android 4.4 KitKat on here. Let's just quickly look at 
the performance of both devices. The G3 is a bit struggling uh, with the high resolution in this case, so we all know that it's kind of having their micro stuttering going on right here. But the Note 4 seems pretty smooth, smooth actually. I guess Samsung has been doing some stuff here to minimize uh, jitter or whatever that's going on right here. So TouchWiz seems pretty performant on this device in this case. So yeah, let's just put a quick, very, very shallow comparison between the Note 4 and the LG G3 in this case. Hey, I'm Roland with Mobile Geeks, and we're right here at Samsung's Unpacked 2014 number two. So this is the launch of the new Galaxy Note 4, which is a new high-end tablet from Samsung with a 5.7 inch screen and we're just going to quickly compare it with the LG G3 which is right here on the left. So what you get on both devices is pretty much the same resolution so they both sport 2560 by 1440 pixels except for the fact that this is actually a 5.5 inch screen and the Note 4 does have a 5.7 inch screen. Also technical difference the Note 4 has a much brighter, I think, let me just check on the brightness, yep, we're all set to the maximum. So as you can see, the screen on the Note 4 is actually quite a bit brighter than on the LG G3, which has a TFT LCD screen, <coughs> it's also great screen, IPS panel and stuff, but still it is a bit dimmer. Also slight difference in the size there, and as you can see, the two devices are totally different, those 5.7 inches have